Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to create your jewelry website using Shopify. I'll be covering a few different sections you can add to help to complement and display your products and also to help your website give a professional and high-end impression to your customers. Whether you sell jewelry products, clothing accessories, and more, you can follow these tips to help to give your website that high-end touch. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first tip I can highly recommend for helping to display the products on the homepage of your website would be to make use of creating collections for your different product types and featuring those collections here on the homepage of your website. You can do this by inserting a collection list and also by adding one or more featured collections here to the homepage of your store. This is an excellent way to feature some of your new arrival products or your bestsellers. To get started, here on Shopify, I'm gonna show you how to add a featured collection on the homepage of your store. Then I'm gonna cover how you can create different categories for your products and also how you can rearrange your products inside those categories. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click online store, then themes. Then you're gonna go in to customize your website. Here in the homepage of your store, you can choose where you would like to place your featured collection. Here I've chosen a section that is midway through the website. You're gonna click add section and this is where you can choose to insert a featured collection. I'll be showing you a beginner friendly way you can customize this section. So here you can title which collection you're featuring. You can also choose to put a call to action text. Here under heading size, you also have the option to increase or decrease the size of the heading text. You have the option to choose to put a mini description of this collection you're featuring. You'll have the option to select how many columns on desktop you would like to choose, as well as how many products you would like to show. You'll want to enable the view all button if the collection you're featuring has more than four products. And I'm going to set the view all style to an outline button. You can select to show the second image of the product on hover, so that when customers hover their mouse over a product, the image will switch to show the second picture of the product. When you click select collection, this is where you'll be able to select which collection you are featuring. To create a collection in your store, here on Shopify, you're going to click products, then click collections. When you click create collection, this is where you can title your collection. You can write a mini description if you would like. Then you're going to save this. And here I'm going to click browse. And this is where you can choose which products you would like to add to this collection. Once you've selected your products, right here where it says sort, this is where you can choose the order in which the products are going to display. You can sort it by best selling. You can also sort it by product title and price. One of my favorite ways to sort products that you're going to be featuring would be to sort it manually. This way you can rearrange how these products are going to display in your store. Next, you're going to open your website. And here I'm going to click on this featured collection. And this is where you can select to feature that collection that we just added. You can choose to change the color scheme of this section. And also, if you'd like, you can set the image ratio to portrait or square. Here, you also have the option to add the quick add button. And this has added an add to cart button below these products. Adding featured collections to your homepage is one of the best ways to help push out new collections or specific collections on your shop. And feel free to insert multiple featured collections in a row to display multiple product collections. By the way, if you are interested in this jewelry website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There's step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. In the description box, I'll link where you can go grab this Shopify theme along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. The second tip I can recommend for helping to create a user-friendly website would be to not only make sure that your desktop view is easy to navigate, but you also want to design your mobile view to be easy to navigate as well. Your mobile layout should be smooth, and it should display your products and your product categories very clearly. I'll be giving you a few tips for how you can help out your mobile layout to create a smooth navigation experience for your customers. The first tip would be one that I recommend you do with your collection list and also with your featured collections. You want to click on one of those featured collections and off to the left when you scroll all the way down, here under mobile layout is where you can edit the display of each column on mobile. The current display on mobile features each product one by one. Under number of columns on desktop, you can choose to select two columns and that will show two columns at a time. This is a great way for you to show more products without taking up too much space on your website when customers are viewing your website on a mobile device. You also have the option to select enable swipe on mobile, and this will allow customers to just be able to swipe through one line of products. It'll be very easy for customers to see multiple products at once. You can also choose to repeat that step with your catalog page. Currently, this is my catalog page. And when you select the product grid, you have the option to choose to display one column at a time or to display two columns at a time. 
You always want to ensure that your mobile view has a smooth layout for your customers, especially if you market your products on social media. Most likely customers are going to visit your website on their phone or on a mobile device. And the last step I recommend is for a section that you can add to the homepage, which can help you to promote your email list and help to encourage customers to join your email list. I'll be showing you a beginner friendly way you can add an email signup to your website. I'll also be showing you how to create an email signup page within your store and how to link that page to the footer menu of your website, as well as how to send out an email to your customers. Here on Shopify, you're gonna open your website. I'll be choosing somewhere midway through the website. Here, you're gonna click add section, and this is where I'll be inserting an email signup. You have a few different editing options for this section. You can choose to apply a different color scheme within your store. And you can also choose to edit the top and bottom padding. So for example, if this section is a little bit too wide, you can choose to make it a little bit more narrow. Currently, it's set to make section full width. You can uncheck this. And that will create kind of like a floating email signup. Click on the heading. This is where you can go ahead and put a call to action title. And you'll also have the option to edit the heading size. You can also choose to insert text for the subheading. Here I've listed three bullet points to explain to people what they're gonna receive when they join the email list. And that's gonna be a quick way that you can just add an email signup to your homepage. Next, I'll be showing you how to create a custom email page and how to feature that page on the footer menu of your website. First off, here inside your theme, you're gonna click homepage. Then I'm gonna click pages then click create template. Next, you can title this page. I've titled it email page. Then you're gonna click create template. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna click pages, then click add page. Here you can title the page. Then under theme template, I'm gonna apply that new email page template. Next, you're gonna click navigation and I'm gonna open the footer menu. This is where you can add new menu items or remove menu items. Here I'll be inserting a link to that brand new email page. You can also feel free to go ahead and customize your footer menu. So here you can insert a link to the home page of your website, and you can also insert links to specific collections and other pages within your store. Then you're going to click to customize your website. When you scroll here to the very bottom of your store, you're going to want to click on this footer menu. And right here under this footer section is where you can click add block. And this is where you're gonna insert a menu. You want to make sure that this footer menu is linked and you can also add more blocks to the footer menu if you would like. For an example here, I'm adding an image and this is where I'm putting the brand logo. Then I'm gonna add another block and here I'm gonna insert a text block. And this is where you can type in a mini brand description text. And you'll also have the option to select the text and you can resize some of the text. And here you can put the text in bold, italic, and if you need, you can also insert a link leading to another website or to another page within your store. And that's gonna be a quick way that you can customize the footer menu of your website. Next, you're gonna open that new email page. And this is where you can begin customizing this page to promote your email list and to let people know why they should join your email list. Here under template, I'm just gonna click add section and I'm gonna insert an email sign up. I'm gonna customize this email signup similar to how I just did on the homepage. And I'm also gonna click on this page title section and I'm gonna hide that away. Another way that you can have a little bit more fun with this page would be to insert some pictures. Here I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna insert an image banner. I'm gonna reposition this image banner above the email signup. And this is where you can create a little introduction for this page. You have a few different editing options for this section. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop and I'll also be increasing the image overlay opacity which is gonna make this overall image darker. I'll be changing the color scheme of this section. Then you can insert one or two images for the background of this section. And then right under banner height, I'm gonna set this to small just to make the banner appear a little bit more narrow and that's how you can make your email signup page. Then to send out an email to your customers, here on Shopify, you're gonna click Marketing, then click Create Campaign. Here, you're gonna select Shopify Email. And here, this is where you can add some of your template branding for your email newsletters. You can add your logo, your brand name, and also your brand colors. When you click Next, it's gonna take you to a page. You can choose between these emails to go in and edit, feature different pictures and products, and they have a variety of these emails that you can use. 
Here are some emails that are based on announcements, and they also have some for holidays and occasions. Feel free to select and customize these emails and send them out to your email list members. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. And this guide I've included screenshot, video tutorials, and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.